So to help you to prepare for your session today, I'm just gonna guide you through a five minute workout that's gonna help you to activate your muscles and feel pre prepared for the session ahead. So go and stick your headphones in, put me somewhere where you can hear me and see me, find yourself a space in the gym, ideally you'll have a mat so that you've got a nice soft landing because we're gonna do some work on the floor and let's get started. So the aim of this workout or this warm up is to activate and engage all of the muscles that you're going to be using in your session. It's just five minutes, but it's really, really important to include it every single time you go to the gym. So I want you to start at the back of your mat. I want you to tip your pelvis under and engage your core. So we're squeezing our belly button through to our spine. We're going to slowly brush our hands along our legs down to the floor and we're going to go into a walk out. So we're going to walk forward onto our hands or in a high plank position. We're going to rock forward onto our toes so we can feel that strength going through our wrists and then we're going to slowly walk it back, leading with our hips, trying to keep our legs nice and straight. We're going to come up to standing, squeeze our glutes and then we're going to repeat the movement. As we're doing this, we're making sure to take nice deep breaths and to keep our core controlled and nice and strong. We want to go relatively slowly through the movements, but we want to make sure that we stay mobile. So when we're warming up, we shouldn't be holding a stretch, but we should be activating. So moving constantly through each of the planes, engaging our core, firing up our muscles, preparing our body for the exercise ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do three more of these walkout moves making sure that each time we put the pressure over our wrists, put that body weight into our shoulders. We're gonna go for two more. Keep that back nice and flat in that plank position. Good job, standing up, squeeze those glutes at the top. Okay, this is our last one. We're gonna stay in this plank position here. Good job, okay. You're going to bring your right foot as close to your right hand as possible and drop your left knee to the floor. This is a really low lunge position. From here, I'm going to use my right elbow and I'm going to travel that right elbow down my shin so it touches the floor. And I'm going to watch my thumb as I reach up and round and I should feel a nice stretch through my shoulder blades and a nice twist in that spine. I'm going to tuck my elbow, travel it down to the floor again and then reach up, making sure I'm always watching my thumb so I don't overextend and twist through the neck because that could be quite painful. As I said before, we want to make sure that we keep moving through our range of motion. We don't hold what movement for too long. This should be helping us to open up our hip flexors. I'm gonna go for one more here. Good job. Now before we reach back onto the other leg, we're just gonna rock back into a runner's lunge and then we're going to walk it forward pushing the weight into that front foot rock it back toes towards you straight leg walk it forward you should be really starting to feel this stretch in your hamstring and in your hip flexors good we're going to do two more of these this is why i said it's good to have a mat because it can be quite painful on your knees good job Okay, once we've done that last rock forward, we're going to go into the plank position and we're going to swap over. So my left foot is to my left hand, the left elbow travels down, left arm reaches up and round. I'm watching my left arm as I go. Really stretching through those shoulders and back round again. You might find that you're more flexible on one side than the other. That's absolutely fine. Moving. Good job. Good job. We're going to do two more here. Should be feeling really nice and loose in those hip flexors now. Ready for the work that we're going to do. Last one. Really reach. Good job. Ground that hand. We're going to rock it back. Left leg straight, toes towards you. Rock it forward, pushing into that front leg. Rock it back, toes towards you. Rock it forward. Good job. Well done. As you do this, try and keep your core nice and tight. So squeezing that belly button in, making sure it's engaged throughout. Right, 
We're going to come onto hands and knees now, and we're going to do a series of cat cow movements. Now, this is going to really help engage your core and get your core moving for the exercise. So, my hands are directly under my shoulders, my knees are directly under my hips. I am going to relax my belly so I get a nice arch in my back. So, you can probably see that on the video. And then I'm going to squeeze up through my pelvic floor, squeezing my belly button to spine, rolling off those shoulders. And then I'm going to relax and then squeeze up. As I'm squeezing up, I'm imagining getting my hips and my ribs to touch each other and my belly button to touch my spine. I'm also tucking my chin in and round off and then fully relaxing. This should help engage your core ready for our next warm up exercise. We're going to do this. job. Nice work. I'm going to go for two more really big squeezes. Good job, one more. Nice, okay. From this position, you're going to bring your big toes together to touch each other and you're going to bring your knees wide, normally to just outside the mat. From here, you're going to do that cat cow. So you're going to tuck your belly under so you're making that curve for your back as you push through onto your heels. Then again, you're going to suck that belly in and you're going to rock forward over your forearms. So now you've got a nice flat back, but your core is staying you've got engaged and you should feel a nice stretch through those forearms and in those wrists. This is really important if you're about to go and work on the bar and lift heavy weights, you want to make sure your wrists are warmed up. So I'm rocking back and relaxing and then as I'm coming up off my heels, I'm squeezing my belly button into my spine, getting my ribs and my hips together to really push and engage through that core, through your movement. Every single exercise in the gym is a core exercise. You don't need to do separate core exercises in order to engage your core. You should be engaging your core through your squats and your lunges and your deadlifts, whatever it is that you've got going today. So when you warm up, it's really important that we make sure our core is firing as well. Okay, good job. All right, bring your knees back under your hips and you're gonna push one leg out wide. Try and keep your foot as flat to the floor as you can. If you haven't got that mobility in your ankle, just go on the side, that's fine. But really, we're aiming for it to be out wide. So my hips are level, okay, but I've got one leg out straight and my hands are still under my shoulders. I'm gonna repeat that movement that we just did, curving through the spine over the top. But you should feel in a more intense stretch through your hip adductors here as well. So not only am I stretching out through my hips, I'm engaging my core and I'm loosening off my wrists and I'm strengthening through my shoulders as well. We're going to go for one more on this side. Good job. And then we're going to switch it over. Oh, I haven't got enough space. Rock it back. Up and over. Good job. Make sure those hips are parallel. Your legs are not up here, okay? Hips are parallel. Good, curving through that spine. If you don't, if you can't do the straight leg, you can just go out on one knee. That's fine as well. Okay, we're gonna do two more in that position. Last one. Good job. Okay, we're just gonna roll onto our back and just a little bit more core work just to finish us off. So, laying on your back, I want you to hug your knees into your chest so that our lower back is 100% on the floor. If you've watched the video on core engagement, you'll know how important this is. You're going to put your arms up directly in front of you and your um, shins or your knees are going to be parallel to the ceiling. So we're in the start of a dead bug position. From here, you are going to lower your left leg and your right arm and you're going to hold that for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So as you were doing that, you should have been squeezing your belly button into your spine, making sure your lower back stays on the floor. Okay, now we're gonna lower our right leg and our left hand, ready? And we're gonna hold for 10, squeeze, nine, eight, Seven, I'm shaking on this side. Five, four, 
three, two, one, and back, okay? Last one, we're gonna lower both legs at the same time and both arms at the same time. Just tuck your chin in a little bit so that you're protecting your spine. And we're gonna hold this just for five seconds, okay? Ready, let's go. Five, squeeze that belly button in. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so you might want to add some squats or some lunges into that if that's what you're intending to do today in your session. If you are looking at doing heavy weights, make sure that you warm up with the bar. So if you've got squats in your program today, just do squats with a bar without any weight on it or with a lower dumbbell or lower kettlebell if the bar is your max weight at the moment. Just to warm up your muscles under that resistance before you go heavy for your sets and reps. Enjoy your session. <laughs>